Welcome back everybody. This is a new pickups video for titles I've picked up over the past few weeks. So we'll start off with a James Gunn movie, which is super. James Gunn's probably more famous for directing Guardians of the Galaxy Marvel movie. But he has done other movies which are great also, including Slither and Super. A great comedy superhero movie in the same vein as Kick-Ass here. You can see on the cover, far better than Kick-Ass. I disagree with that. But still an enjoyable watch. So recommend if you like the kick ass, if you certainly like kick ass, you'll, you'll like this movie. Uh, great cast uh, in here with Kevin Bacon and Liv Tyler. And Adam Page uh, is great in this as a couple of scenes which have me, have me in tears. So really recommend Super. And you can pick it up really cheap nowadays. So yeah, recommend Super. Next is what I cast as the golden era of Seagal. I'm a huge Steven Seagal film. His earlier works, none of the recent crap he's been putting out, the director, DVD, director, video, kind of filmed in Eastern European, but is the golden era of Seagal, starting with Under Siege, Under Siege 2, uh, Out for Justice, those great uh, 80s, 90s action movies. And one of my favourites is Mark for Death. Uh, recommend this one in here there's a <clears throat> he's up against a load of uh, Jamaican drug cartel if you wish drug lords uh, Screwface I believe he's called uh, I won't say too much because I'll probably spoil it if I go a bit further but great action in here uh, Steven Seagal Mark for Death highly recommends this this uh, movie of her Steven Seagal's earlier work. I can't really recommend his latest work, but definitely for earlier work, this is one of the best up there with, for me, up there with Under Siege, uh, Out for Justice, and there's another one, and I can't remember. It's not got a Blu-ray release. It's, uh, fuck, I can't remember. It'll come to me during this update. I'm sure it will. Right, next is Steelbook of Michael J. Fox and Teen Wolf. Got a little bit of Teen Wolf. Uh, great comedy kind of high school movie in which he becomes a werewolf etc it's just one of them great 80s cheesy movies to me where I can just put on a Sunday afternoon and watch over and over again yeah this is a I think it's a Zavi exclusive steelbook Zavi keep having flash sales on probably a lot of older stocks so I picked this up really cheap but recommend Teen Wolf out there next is the remake I know I know it's the remake but I really wanted to watch it, and this is the German Steelbook. I wanted to re-watch this movie, I've watched it years ago when it first came out, and for some reason I wanted to watch it, so I thought I'd pick it up, and this guy I know was selling off, unfortunately, a lot of his collection, so I got it for five quid. German Steelbook, it's quite nice, it's a nice looking Steelbook, so yeah, five quid, I thought I'd give it another watch. Probably bollocks, but I'm going to give it another watch anyway. Next is one of my favourite horror remakes, and that's the crazy star in the great, great Timothy Oliphant. I think Timmy Olyf Timothy Oliphant is one of them. He's a great actor working today. He's not done too many high-profile movies. I mean, most people probably know him from the Hitman movie. But to me, Justified is one of my favourite TV series. And in Justified, he's fucking phenomenal. Uh, he plays a badass kind of... Uh, not Sheriff, Marshall, that's it, Marshall. But anyway, The Crazy is a great remake. It's about a local town where a military plane crashes and it's got some uh, biological warfare weapon uh, aboard this plane and it crashes into the into uh, into a river which supplies the town with the local supplies the town with their water supply. And the water supply becomes contaminated and it just turns the local residents of this small town batshit crazy. And it's a how about how the army come in and try and contain the situation. And there's some great scares. And it's a remake of the original. I think the original was Wes Craven's. Uh, crazies from the 80s, I believe. But yeah, for, as remakes go, I actually think this is fantastic. They have, in horror, there are some remakes which are fantastic. And the Crazies is one of them. Another one, just off the top of my head, is I really, really like the Dawn of the Dead remake. I mean, I like the original, but the Dawn of the Dead remake, I think, is phenomenal as well. And I actually have to say the Texas Chainsaw remakes, great. But yeah, Crazies, highly recommend it. You can pick it up for a couple of quid now, so definitely recommend getting the Crazies. Next is my first purchase from Australia. This is Night of the Living Dead. This is the 1990 uh, remake, reboot, whatever you want to call it, directed by 
the legendary Tom Savini. This I saw this one before I saw Romero's original one. It was one of them late nights, come back from the pub, put on the TV late at night, and it was one of them movies I watched for the first time. Another one I watched late night viewing for the first time was Evil Dead 2 and The Howling. So those have a nostalgia feel, and I love them. And this is one of them, Tony Todd. Uh, in, I actually adore this one. This is Australian release. I got it from JB Hi-Fi. They do a dual release, which is a limited edition numbered one with the original and remake. I already have the original, so I went for this one. But yeah, uh, reversible artwork, so I'll put the reversible artwork on. I think that's a lot better than the original. But I actually adore this. Everyone knows the story of uh, of Night of the Living Dead, so I'm not going to get into storyline, but I actually can watch this over and over again. It's got a lot of rewatchability factors. It's actually got quite a few special features in there, which I've managed to go through. Some great, a really great interview with Tom Savini. Uh, highly recommend that. So. Yeah, uh, recommend that you, you people who are watching this who are big horror fans, pick this bad boy up again from JB Hi-Fi in Australia. Go ahead in a couple of weeks shipping and anything is Royal Mail, the bastards charge a uh, clearance fee about eight quid. But anyway, Night of Living Dead, fantastic horror uh, there. Next up is, uh, is it one eighty eight films uh, release of Creepshow Show Not seen it. Wanted to pick this up. Came with a slip. I got it off eBay from a seller who's selling new, sealed still, for £6.49. So I had some PayPal credits, so I thought I'd give it as well. Not seen it. This is a Romero and Stephen King presentation. Uh, haven't got the first one, so really can't tell you much about it. Uh, so looking forward to checking that out one night. Next up is the 30th anniversary edition of Halloween 2. I do own the Screen Factory release, uh, but I don't have a multi-regional Blu-ray player, so I picked this one up. I'm trying to pick up all the Halloween movies on Blu-ray. Got the full DVD, but I'm just trying slowly going through and picking up uh, editions. Halloween 2 is a great direct sequel to the original uh, John Carpenter Halloween. There are some scenes in this which are fantastic, especially the, the kill scenes in, uh, I want to say, a bath. There's a bath scene in it, but yeah. Uh, can be quite slow in in the middle of it, but I find uh, Michael Myers is is one of the great slasher classics for me. So anything Halloween, I'm trying to pick up multiple editions of Halloween. It's one of my favourite genres, horror slasher horrors specifically, specifically, but especially the Halloween franchise. So Halloween Two, great great film with Donald Pleasant and Jamie Curtis. Great follow on to the original. So if you've not seen Halloween Two. Really recommend picking this one up and maybe having a double header one night, the original followed on by the sequel. So that's Halloween 2. Next is a bag of shit, but I picked it up. It's Day of the Dead. It's, uh, I suppose, remakes the wrong word to the Romero classic. It's, I don't really think this is a zombie movie after watching it a couple of nights ago. It's more, it reminds me of 28 Days or 28 Weeks Later where the, the people get infected with a virus which turns them in. To these um, crazies, I suppose, pardon the pun, uh, but it is bollocks if I'm honest. It, it's one of them films which is really good because it's bad, or it's bad because etc. You know what I mean. Uh, but it's not. Nick Cannon is just just awful. To be honest, even means like the whole cast cannot act in this. It's just it's just poorly acted. Uh, but for some reason, I wanted to watch it. So I picked it up for like a pound, something like that. Uh, don't know if I'm going to keep hold of it. I might just chuck it in the collection. I don't know. But anyway, can't really recommend this uh, film. But yeah, Day of the Dead. Next up is... Leviathan. It's a Peter Weller movie. I saw this film on Oliver Harper's retrospective reviews. Looked really, really good. Uh, I've been wanting to pick this up for a while. Uh, I know it's got a US release and a German release, but the German's meant to be really poor uh, con edition picture quality. So it actually just came out recently in Spain. So I got this on Amazon Spain. It's basically about a deep sea diving team which discovers a, a Russian submarine, I believe it is. And they obviously enter the submarine, and when they come out, they bring something back with them. Uh, and this, shall we say, thing uh, starts to infect the crew of the deep sea diving uh, facility 
and it kind of goes a bit peaked on, a bit wrong from there, shall we say. A uh, bit of a cross between kind of the abyss and alien, if you wish. I think if you've seen it, you'll understand where I'm going with that. But really great, great movie here. Uh, Stan Winston did the creature effects in it, so really recommend. Uh, I love Stan Winston. I think he does his gold to me. So yeah, really recommend this Leviathan. Uh, again, this is Amazon Spain, I think it was. Yeah, and really cheap to pick up. So yeah, great movie there. Next up is. Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. This is a HMV exclusive slip. They release, they've released quite a lot of the back catalogue of Marvel movies like the X Men's, Daredevils, etc. etc. and put limited edition slips on. I have most Marvel movies on Blu ray, so I wanted to pick this up to be kind of complete. It's, I don't mind actually the Tim Story Fantastic Fours. Uh, has quite a nostalgia for me when they first came out. I remember actually really quite enjoying them for what they are kind of a brain dead comic book movie. Uh, films and I, I don't mind the thing in it. I don't mind even uh, To me the best thing about this is Lawrence Fishburne who plays the Silver Surfer. I Really enjoy When I say I really enjoy these movies. I I find them enjoyable to watch uh, So that's why I wanted to pick this up and add it to my question. And I'm a sucker for slip covers. It's quite a nice slip cover So that's why I picked that one up Next is one of my favorite horror movies of the 80s this is actually Pumpkinhead. It's a Stan Winston directed movie starring Lawrence, Lawrence, Lance Henriksen. Look, get his name out there, Lance Henriksen. And it's about a, uh, he's got a young boy who's uh, killed by a bunch of kids uh, prattling about on their motorbikes. And he uh, seeks revenge in the form of Pumpkinhead, which is a Stan Winston created monster. Imagine kind of a, a crossbreed between an alien and something else, I don't know, cross but kind of you can see the alien's design in Punk Hair. A great kind of creature feature monster movie from the eighties and it's directed by Stan Winston. It's one of my little gems. I, I adore this movie and I'm so thankful I've again because I don't have a multi regional uh, Blu ray player, I couldn't pick up the the brilliant screen factory release. So I actually got this from Spain, I think it was. Yeah, so Spain. So I'm really, look, there you go, pumpkin head in the top corner there, and Lance Erickson. There is Shotgun. Yeah, really great creature uh, movie, monster movie. Yeah, really highly recommend that to everybody watching. Next is another addition to my John Carpenter. I'm trying to get every John Carpenter movie on Blu ray. So I picked this up. This is Ghost of Mars. Uh, starring, it's actually got Pam Greer in it. I've got a couple other movies of her in this update. What can I say about this movie? Uh, it's not great, if I'm honest. I mean, we—I uh, believe John Carpenter is one of my favourite directors of all time. Him, uh, John Carpenter, along with Spielberg and Tarantino. Uh, it's not great. The only thing I could say about this movie, I do like the sets in it. It's not—it's got kind of a, a kind of a a space space obviously because it's go it's set in Mars but it's, I like the setting of it I like the scenery if that makes sense the sets of it it's kind of all enclosed kind of one space one area sort of thing uh, and I like the idea it's kind of this supernatural uh, possession movie uh, which possessed all the workers on Mars which then became these kind of killers but yeah it, it, I enjoyed it uh, it won't be one I'll revisit now uh, again and again and again but Another movie I wanted to add to the collection. Uh, I got it off Amazon UK. I think it's a French or Italian French release because it's not out in the UK. Look at that, Jason Statham. Oh dear. Um, but yeah, you get it off Amazon UK. I think it was like five pounds. But yeah, goes to Mars. Happy to add it to my collection anyway. Next up is Fincher Classic Fight Club. Had it on DVD. Wanted it on Blu-ray. Five quid as do. What can I say? It's a great movie. The, the twist in this movie when it for first on the first view and just blew your mind. But it's a great movie with Ed Norton and Brad Pitt. One of the classic films. And I need to revisit it again. That's why I picked it up on Blu-ray because I thought, what best way to revisit it? So Fight Club. Don't need to say any more. Next is TV show Star Wars Rebels. Not se seen the first disc so far. Quite enjoying this actually. I really love the Clone Wars animated series. Big fan of those. Uh, and this is the Zavi Steelbook. It was on offer the other day, so I thought, 
Do you know what? Now's the time to watch it. Not a bad design of the steel book. Uh, but yeah, the Inquisitor there on the back. Quite a good body, actually. Quite a good Sith. But anyway, enjoyed it so far. Star Wars fans, I'd definitely recommend this. You've probably watched it already, to be fair. But uh, yeah, Star Wars Rebels. Next up is... Clive Barker's Night Breed. Not seen it, unfortunately, so I can't really tell you much about it. Wanted to check out some of uh, Clive Barker's earlier work, so I wanted to see this. Found it on Amazon Spain again, I think it was. Spain or Germany. I found Amazon Spain, Germany, Italy. They have quite a good of selection of old horror movies you can, which don't have a UK release. So, not seen it, but you know, just looking on the back, watching the trailer, it really excites me. I know there's a Screen Factory release of it. Of this movie but looks great so can't wait to watch Nightbreed. Right next I think there's a couple of right I'll go start with this one this is the HMV exclusive deal book for the Hateful Eight Tarantino's eighth movie what can I say about this fucking brilliant I'm a bit of a Tarantino fanboy if you wish but I thought this great this movie was great it's like two hours 47 minutes it does not feel that long it is smooth it is well written I think Tarantino is one of the best dialogue directors out there. Uh, I just found this movie fantastic. I love Cowboys and I love Tarantino. Django Unchained is good. This is great. I'd have to, I was having a discussion with my friend the other day and I, I think I put this as my number, number two of Tarantino's top five movies of all time. I absolutely adore this movie. I think the plot, the way it... Uh, in, in, the way it, uh, the pacing of it, and the way it kind of unfolds as it goes along, it reminds me. You can see the references to Dragons in when you watch this movie. It kind of feels similar, uh, and you know, if you've seen the Dragons in, you'll know why. But this movie was just fantastic. Kurt Russell as the Hangman, fantastic. Samuel Jackson, one of his best performances in film, I've seen for a long, long time. He's put out some shit recently. Directed video uh, Samuel Jackson has, but he's just a, a solid. Uh, performer but in this he was just fantastic and Walter Goggins Giggins you know what I mean again justified I talked about earlier the TV series he's also in that great great performance in here so highly highly if you've not seen it or not go and watch The Hateful Eight fantastic movie right this is a I want to give a shout out to Wolfman's Got Nards most of you know who he is but he's starting to do uh alternate covers so bc customs i picked this up from him in the case for an american whale from london so i'm actually going to Horicon in july so i'm going to get it signed uh, there but look at this artwork brilliant alternative artwork there uh, for american whale from london. i just wanted to show this off and give a shout out and recommend you go and check out his facebook page some great alternative artwork he's, he's making here and you can buy them complete printed with a clear case so i highly recommend it. i just think that's so much better than the artwork I had so yeah just wanted to quickly show that off to you right next up I'll just finish off with some arrow first up is Pit and the Pendulum Vincent Price I think one of his best movies here along with how uh, the fall of the Usher house is even one uh, my favorite great movie and I love the tone the feel of this movie these old 60s Edgar Allan Poe horror movies and He's so over the top, Vincent Price, and his acting. It's just kind of a joy to watch, which, uh, you know, we don't get that nowadays. But I just, I don't know, I just really enjoy the tone of this movie. Uh, it's not long, uh, so definitely recommend this. This is the Arrow Steelbook. I've got a lot of savvy. Uh, came with a bit of damage. I don't know if you can see there. They offer you a typical 5% off, but sending pictures and all that, too much bloody aggro for me, so I'm just putting up with it. Yeah, uh, it's only like eight quid anyway, but yeah, definitely recommend if you haven't already pick up the pit and the pendulum. Yeah, all right. Next one is Pam Grier. I love Pam Grier. Her early black exploitation movies are great. Foxy Brown, etc., etc. Kofi is probably my favourite, to be honest, of her movies in that in that era. Um, this is Shiva Baby. I watch this every night. Yeah. I actually find it really funny. I don't know if it's, it's probably not meant to be comical, but there's some scenes in here which I just found, I was in tears, I was just in this, I just found it really, really funny, for whatever reason, anyway, I found it funny. Highly recommend, this is probably one of the stronger performances in here, 
Uh, one of her last, I think, in that era. I think it was 75, 1975. And again, with Arrow, filled with uh, special features. But yeah, Sheba Baby. Really, really enjoyed this. Not as good as Kofi. I'd have to recommend uh, rate Kofi over this one. But yeah, Sheba Baby. Definitely uh, a good watch. Next is another Pam Grier. It's Black Mama, White Mama. Not seen this one yet. I think it's a prison movie. Uh, so... I really can't, sorry, can't tell you much about it. I'll pick both of them up in 2 for 25 at HMV. Trading a load of, like, triple copies of Marvel movies I've got at CX. Got a bit of spare cash, so thought I'd splash out on some uh, Arrow titles. So, yeah, Black Mama, White Mama. And to finish off this update is the American Horror Project. Uh, not seen any of them. <laughs> so, really, sorry, can't tell you much about them comes with the premonition the witch who came from the sea and carnival of blood so i think these are about uh, 70s horror movies uh yeah looks like the 73 uh, 76 and 76 by looks of it just quick look but yeah uh it's one of these uh box sets from our arrow do oops, sorry get it back in camera arrow do great box sets you get three films and a book there real sturdy uh Stir the case there. So looking forward to checking these these movies out. Again, not seen them, but from the trailers and the and the reviews, especially on Amazon, it intrigued me to watch it. And uh, yeah, that is the conclusion of this quick update for you all. Uh, thanks for everybody who's been watching, commenting, subscribing. Really appreciate this. Really enjoying sharing the movies I pick up. I'm going to start expanding the sort of content I do in here. Top fives, movie reviews. Uh, got a few films coming in over the next few weeks so it'll probably be a while till the next update but thanks everyone for watching uh, i look forward to comments if you've not already please like and subscribe and i'll catch you later cheers